Hello, welcome to this brand new video tutorial on QVTO. Today we are going to talk one important topic that is resolution operations. What are the resolution operations? Uh, according to the documentation here, resolving an object means updating object resulting from executed mapping. It means we have already created one object, some object, then we try to them after they are created and some other things can also be done but this is the main thing and there are different type of resolve operation like resolve inverse resolve resolve the direction is from source to target and the inverse resolve is from target to source is inverse one and resolving mean we are applying the resolution on a sequence of objects and resolve one mean we are applying on a single object so there are also different other operation I resolve uh, let resolve and then many other ones so for this tutorial i will not focus too much on the literature and the theory if you want to read more then you can go to the documentation and read it but what i'm going to focus more is how this thing is being implemented and to do that uh, you create a small project so we create one QVT project here called demo09 simple project next no next uh, okay blah 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 then resolve So we finish it, and then now you have to create one folder called model where you are going to put our model. And the model here, you have done that in the previous tutorial, you just copy it if you want to know how to create a core files programmatically. You can see our previous tutorial. So we add our model here and if we open it with the uh, sample echo this is what we get and then let's see through it this is the uni model and usually in the university you have some people that are the persons and this person can be professors or student and if we try to open this one to see the java code behind with yeah it's opening okay here you can see you have four classes the first one is a container that contains some persons and second one is the person having attribute h these attributes are inherited by the person which is having a property this property just mean like any professor will have uh, each professor will have some learners that are sort of type students and they can be minimum five or more and some any student inheriting the person will have uh, some teachers and this can be minimum three or maximum five teachers not more so that said this is our model now the second thing now is uh, to instantiate our model and to do that one we have to go here right click our container then go to create instance dynamic instance finish here bump okay this our instance let's add one professor and also add one student <coughs> here we add the age of the professor and then we add the age of the student <coughs> then now as a student each professor will have a learner right now it's empty and student property the teacher is empty if we add this student to a professor what will happen here automatically the student get that professor as a teacher so because both of them are linked here in this association this our 
instance that is ready so you have to create a transformation that will transform this uh, container this whole instance here to the same target instance having two person to one person and one student and the same property maintaining the same property to do that one we have to make use of uh, transformation so we go here and to make things easy you just have some sample code here <coughs> so if you just put the basic structure here we will have some errors so we have to set the settings specify the location of the model so we go here add browse to our model our model is inside the model folder uni.eco we add it and if we save it now it's okay not anymore so now it's ready so we just have to create some mappings and to do that one we have to just create one mapping here the container the first mapping is the container that's having come Container here, and as we had here, a container is having some persons, so this one is important. You have to add things like just copy to make things faster and go to our transformation. Add here, you have to add some persons like so some professors so to do that we have to copy uh, this one here mapping here we have here the mapping for the professor is there we have having mapping all professor view to professors and then we have to set their age and the learners so the same thing here should be done for the student student here should be of type student have student and the name of the map should be student stu stu then the same map is here we are preserving the student we are converting all student to student their age means same but every place with teacher with teacher so if we save it, something is missing here. We have to copy this one here. We name it to stood to stood. Then our transformation is with let's apply it to the instance. So if you are click, you click on the instance, go to run, and then transformation. Go here to our transformation. Then we name this one. To target 00.xmi so how does it look like if we click here as you can see you have two students instead of one and here also you have two professors instead of one so I think there are some duplication here let's try to reduce maybe here if we comment this one we don't want to assign professors teachers in the student mapping if comment this one and try to run again our transformation what will happen here one oh we have one student only one student seems to be working oh oof yeah can see here we don't have a teacher for the student so this is the problem and to try to solve these things here quickly you have to apply the resolution so to do that one here we go here student teacher dot ocl type be careful try to take special care on this uh, 
operation here, function here, OCL as type. What do you want to resolve? Professors, that's our teachers, and then resolve. Oh, we are getting two students, and here one professor seems to be working. So now, I think this, if you are having two uh, students here, I mean, you have to comment this one. Now we only have one resolution here, and this resolution here should be responsible for mapping this association here whenever they are created. And let's find it right. Let's write run again our transformation. Next, name it to three. And bam, you have one student. And here you have one professor. So here is exactly what we add in our source. In our source, we add one student. And then one professor one student one professor so our transformation is working and this is how it look like so as you can see we have tried to go step by step to show you some errors and then from that try to solve it using this uh, resolve operation that is very important so we may try to create some other models and play around in the next tutorial we'll try to see some other complex scenario where this uh, this operation can be applied and that's it so if i hope you have learned something from this tutorial and if you have any comment don't hesitate to drop it um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.